and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to click on today's video. It is going to be a brand new in the cart or forgot about. I do these weekly here on my channel where I chat about new makeup releases. And these are essentially my version of a Will I Buy It, which are always inspired by my friend Samantha March. I will have her YouTube link down in the description box for you guys to check out. And if you are ready to hear some of my thoughts on the new makeup launches, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Too, too many new releases this week, but we still have quite a few to get to. And I also forgot to mention that Samantha also created a community playlist where other creators who do these style of videos can add their videos into the playlist. So if you guys want to go on like a binge of watching a bunch of videos like this, I'll have the community playlist linked down below. So I do want to start out this week with the thing that has me the most excited. And these are from Huda Beauty and she's coming out with brand new Obsessions palettes. So I actually own two of these palettes. I have the coral one and then I also have the electric palette and I really enjoy the formula in both of them these are just smaller palettes they're only nine pans in them and I don't know I just think the formula is really good they're only $27 so I know that's kind of pricey but I don't find it a bad price for the quality of the shades the shimmers in them are so so pretty and I've been wanting to pick up a few more of them I've been wanting to get the mauve ones and then also the smoky obsessions because I just I just love those palettes I love traveling with them they have a nice mirror on them they're just really compact and they're just really nice and I like the formula so I've been meaning to get those ones, but now she is coming out with five new ones. That is a lot to release all at once, but a couple of these, I'm like, I want those. So she has the Amethyst Obsessions, which looks like a really, really pretty, like purpley pink palette. Then we have the Ruby Obsessions, which has more of your reds and your deeper burgundy shades. Then we have the Topaz Obsessions, which is your warm shades. That one really reminds me of like fall pumpkin-y vibes. Like that one's so pretty. And then we have the two that I'm the most interested in because you guys know I love my blues. We have the Sapphire Obsessions and this palette looks so pretty. It has a yellow in there. It has some blues, deeper blues. It has more of like a kind of bright, bright blue. It just has a silver in there. It's so, so pretty. And then we also have the Emerald Obsessions, which this one looks absolutely gorgeous as well. And I do feel like the Emerald one would be very unique to my collection. A few of these other ones, I obviously have other palettes that have these shades and I'm probably with all of these, but I don't have a set palette that is just for that. I kind of like the idea of having palettes that have their own color story because I know like for me, when I want to create a certain kind of look, I like the idea of just grabbing the coral palette and creating a coral look or grabbing like the Bling Boss palette from Jaclyn Hill and knowing I'm going to create like a purple look with it. I like like knowing what I have in my head and then grabbing that palette to correlate with that instead of like a bigger palette, which I still love doing this too, but having a bigger palette and then trying to decide which colors to mix and match. I like only having selected options in one palette, if that makes sense, and knowing what kind of look I'm going to create. So I'm definitely super interested in these. It says they will be available on September 17th. And I'm just, I'm just down for it. They have some dual chrome shades. They have mattes. They have the shimmers. I just, I'm just in love with the little mini palettes that I do own. And I'm definitely going to get, let me know what down below, which one you guys are going to get or which couple you want to get. Cause I'm thinking for sure I want the sapphire and the emerald. And then I don't know, I'm kind of like the Ruby's cute, the Topaz, I want them all, <laughs> but I don't know which ones I'm gonna end up getting. I know for sure the Sapphire and the Emerald have me like the most excited, but I think the Ruby one looks really pretty as well. So let me know down in the comment section if you guys are planning on getting these or which one caught your eye the most or which one you guys would want to see a review of the most. So with these videos, I've been kind of selective with the holiday stuff that I'm talking about because I feel like it can kind of get in overload with a lot of holiday releases. And quite frankly, I don't always get the most excited for holiday releases. They just don't always interest me the most. Um, and so I am gonna talk about one though that did just release from Too Faced. That is gonna be, it's not released, but it's gonna be coming soon. So this is going to be their gingerbread. So this is gonna be the gingerbread spice, spice eyeshadow palette. And I think this one looks really, really pretty. I love the idea of a gingerbread palette. I think that's so cute. And it's a nice play on 
um, Too Faced as a brand, I feel like that's just a cute idea. You know, they do a lot of their themed makeup. They have like, you know, their peach palette and they have, you know, their peaches and cream. And just like, I just like the idea of this palette and the vibes of it look really, really pretty. The shades in it actually look really nice. It has a lot of like muted shades that kind of like got that like mauve vibe to them, but then they also have some really brighter shimmers in there. So like an inner corner, they have a silver, they have a pink in there, there's an orange in there. I just think it's a good variety of colors. I'm thinking about maybe purchasing this one. It's been a while since I got like one of the longer palettes from Too Faced. Like I know they have, you know, their chocolate bar palettes and all of those and I do love those, but it's been a while. I haven't purchased like the gold one or anything like that. It's been a while since I've gotten one of those palettes. I do have the natural, um, natural eyes palette. I do have that one, but it's been a while since I've gotten like a Too Faced eyeshadow palette and I'm feeling the need to get one. So I don't know, this might be the one I get because I think the tones of it are very, very pretty. I don't know that it's anything unique, like I need it in my collection, but I think it would be a palette I would get use out of. And I think it would be really pretty looks for like the holiday season. I think you could get some really, really gorgeous looks with this one. But let us know down below if you guys are planning on getting that one. And then speaking about fall time and pumpkin-y palettes, Makeup Geek has released a brand new pumpkin spice palette. This is going to be $35 and it includes nine different shades. And I believe it is available now. So this palette for me does look really pretty. It's a warm palette. It's definitely fall vibes. Makeup Geek has a really nice formula. I have a ton of their single eyeshadows. I really, really enjoy their formula. I don't think for me I'm gonna need to get this one. Um, I don't think that $35 is necessarily a bad price for Makeup Geek shadows. They are pretty pricey. I believe they're $6 each, like the individual ones. Maybe they're $5 each, I can't remember. It's been a while since I purchased from them. Uh, but I do like the formula of their eyeshadows. But for me, this palette, I don't know. It just, something about it just isn't like screaming at me like I need it. Um, and I do have a lot of other palettes that are like this, like I said, and this even kind of looks similar to the Too Faced one. But I think I'm going to pass over this one. I know there's been a lot of talk about Makeup Geek recently and a lot going on with the brand and Marlena and all of that. So I don't know if this is like a strategic launch by them um, because I feel like all that stuff is going on and then now people are talking about a new release from them. So I feel like people haven't really talked about them too much lately. So I don't know how I feel about all that, but let me know what you guys think down below. And then Kylie Cosmetics actually released singles. So... I feel like single eyeshadows aren't as popular as like getting palettes. So what she did is she actually released new singles that are going to be $7 each. And then you can get a bundle of nine shades for $63 or you can get the entire palette with all the eyeshadows for $220. So it says that she just selected like her favorite shades that are either discontinued or were in other palettes. And I think there is new palette, like new shades as well. And then the palette alone, the magnetic palette empty is $24. So $7 for a single eyeshadow is kind of expensive. Like I know Kylie's palettes are generally expensive, but for me, the formula, like her quality of her products is nice. I just don't know that it's like amazing to where I'd be like, I'd pay $7 for that eyeshadow. Like that's more than Makeup Geek shadows. That's more than ColourPop's eyeshadows. I just don't know that I would pay $7 her shadow. I guess if there was a shadow that you guys really wanted from her or that is discontinued in a palette that you don't have or you wanted, you could maybe get it. But even the idea of twenty two hundred $220 for all of the shades, that's kind of a lot. Like, it, I mean, there's not that many shades. There are 28 shades for $228. That's a lot of money. Uh, that's like Natasha Demone money. Like, I think that's the same size as like her bigger palettes. That's crazy. Uh, so anyways, I'm not going to be getting this one, although I do want to purchase uh, probably more from Kylie when she does come into Ulta, just so I can review it more on here on my channel. I always get asked if I'm going to review her new releases, but I just haven't been as excited uh, as I have been in the past with her releases. So I just haven't really been wanting to get anything from her, but I think I would be more opted, like I was saying last week, to get something from her if I could get it at Ulta. So I guess we'll see going forward what else she comes out with, but for me, this was a no.
So ColourPop and Makeup Shayla released a few new shades of lip products for her birthday and this is round two of her collaboration with them. So she came out with three new lip colors and then you can also get the graffiti makeup bag. So she has the Drippin' Ultra Glossy Lip and then Season 10 Ultra Matte Lip and then also the Shea Day Ultra Matte Lip. So the Ultra Matte Lip isn't my favorite formula ever. I prefer the uh, Satin Lip from ColourPop, the Satin Liquid Lip. That one's my favorite. The Ultra Matte is okay, but for me, I think it's a little bit drying sometimes. I do still like the formula and I'll still wear it. It's just not like my absolute favorite from them. And then the gloss, I do have the original gloss that she came out with with her Perception palette and all of that, and I really enjoy that gloss. So I would be kind of curious to maybe try the Dripping Gloss, but both of these shades do look really pretty. I think that they're unique. It's like a deeper purple and then also like a deeper red shade. I did also watch her video where she kind of talked about this launch and she showcased the products and she did a tutorial and everything. And the way that she did her video was just so good. Like her intro to that video was amazing. That's the way that I feel like you should you know, release a collection with like such an over the top video like that, like the, the beginning intro was just really cool and I love it when people do that. It just makes me more excited about the launch, I think. And it, you know, when all the information's out there and I just feel like it's detailed, that is that makes me wanna more purchase something when I feel like it's not just like thrown together, like here's my new palette, oh, here's half swatches. Like, you know, I like it when everything's kind of put together like that. So this is $25 if you want the entire bundle with the bag or the lip bundle is $16 and then individually the lipsticks are each six and then like I said, the bag is 12. So I like the idea that you can get everything individual like that too. Like I love the idea that you can get just the lipsticks or you can get the lip bag with the lipsticks or just the lips. I love the way ColourPop kind of separates their collections. I think that's really nice. But I think I'm gonna pass over this one because I don't think I need any more of the ultra, sat or the ultra matte lips in my collection because I don't reach for that formula all too often. Although the colors do look really pretty, I just don't think that I need it. And I did purchase, um, or I did receive a lip product from ColourPop. I got one of their Ultra Satin Lips, which is my favorite. And I still wanna try that color out because I haven't. So I don't think I need another lip right now. I got a few other ones that I have purchased and have gotten. So I think I'm good on that collection. But I think it's awesome that she is collaborating with them again. And then we have a new palette from Natasha Denona. This is going to be the Safari palette. And it's going to be a limited edition, $129, and it will be available September 14th at Sephora and at Beautylish. So this is going to have all matte. So this is an all matte palette. And I was like really underwhelmed when I saw this. I just, it's not my vibes, like the colors in it. I mean, it has that army green color, which I love. But it's just, I don't know, like the first two shades, like that first shade and then the second row shade, the first one on there, I just, I feel like those shades are super similar. And I don't particularly use those shades in a palette, so automatically those two shades I wouldn't use. And then I just feel like it's just a lot of deeper shades. Like I'm trying to think what kind of look I would create with this. And I just feel like a lot of those shades I would use as like a lash shade to kind of deepen your crease or something. It's not really a shade I would go in like my full lid with. So uh, the although the bottom one does look nice, the um, the like mauvey one, that one looks nice. This is just not my vibes when it comes to an eyeshadow palette and I haven't purchased one of the big palettes from Natasha Denona. I know this is like the medium sized one, but I just, I'm not interested in this. Uh, I think it's a cool name and everything and I do think it kind of goes with the vibe, like Safari palette. It just, it just doesn't fit me and my collection, but I know a lot of people are probably gonna be excited for this one because I know a lot of people love her shadows. So if you are one of those people, then totally do it. Spend the $129, but for me, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go with this one. All right, and then the last thing we're gonna talk about this week, I told you I was gonna kinda keep this one shorter. So we are gonna talk about the brand new palette from Morphe. This is the 35M palette. And it says that these will this will be available on September 18th. And this is, I don't know, this is an interesting release from them. It looks like a very, very shimmered palette. I don't know if it has the same amount as, of mattes as it does shimmered. From the picture I'm looking at on Trend Moon, I'll have her Instagram link down below. It looks like it definitely has more shimmers than mattes in here. I like the vibes of this. I think I like like the whole like yellowy green section. I think that's really pretty. And then we have like some purples and some pinks in here. 
but it definitely isn't like something that I'm like, oh, I need that. Like it's so pretty, I need it. I don't know, I, I'm assuming, I don't know what the new price is of their larger palettes like this. I think they're around the $20 range if I can remember. Uh, but didn't they just release one? I feel like I just talked about one like a few weeks ago uh, that was released to Ulta, if I remember correctly. I think they just released one. So I don't know, I just don't think I need this one. For some reason, okay, here's my thing with Morphe, is I have one right in front of me right here. I kind of wish that they would make this like their new palettes. Like, wouldn't that be fun if they just came out with like a bunch of like this size palettes for the $15? Because, or not even like this, they could have like a tiny bit of a bigger one for, you know, like $16 or something or 17. But I just feel like something about like those bigger palettes like that, just doesn't make me want to purchase them. Like I would be more likely to purchase a smaller palette from them like this and use it way more. Like I've been using these ones like crazy than I would be to purchase like the bigger one. Like I haven't purchased a bigger palette from Morphe. I'm trying to think of the last one I got from them. I think it was the 39A and I believe I bought that like, like way earlier this year, like around Christmas time last year maybe even. Uh, so it's been a long time since I purchased one of their bigger palettes because I just don't reach for them as much I just find them kind of bulky and they're just they don't fit really in my drawers Even though I have this big area behind me I just find that I don't reach for them as much as I do like my smaller palettes where I can just throw them in my drawer up here Or I can just kind of go in here and know exactly what I want to create I just don't reach for them as much so that kind of help, holds me back from purchasing You know their larger palettes even knowing they are good formula. They are good quality It's just I don't know something always holds me back from purchasing them but after that that is going to do it for this week's in the cart or forgot about I know it was a bit shorter but also a bit longer I feel like I talked about stuff a bit more than I normally do but let me know down below what products you guys are most excited about also don't forget to subscribe before you guys go give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video Bye, friends. <laughs>